163 degrees each. But you'll be alright. They're hot like right now? <laughs> or they get hot? No, they've been hot. What do you do with them? How do you make them hot? Are they like electric or something? No. They fucking sit in the hydroxylator all night. Hey, basically what happened was Donovan fucked himself up like always. And he came to me to fix him. So we're going to fix his bicep with the electric stimulation and some heat to try to loosen it up and get some more blood flow into it so he doesn't keep fucking himself up. Thank you. <clears throat> So this one is, is fine. It'll be alright. It's the other one that's way more of the problem. Here, remove the hole. So you should feel all of this stretching. Yeah. Hold it for two, three sets of 30 seconds. And then. In your bicep. Hold it for 30 seconds. Switch up. Just left Rob's therapy facility. Did some work on my biceps for tomorrow. This one's a little sore. This one feels amazing. But this this is the really bad one. It feels a little sore. He said uh, the toxins that got released to drink tons of water. I drank about this much water since he said that, but uh, I'm gonna try to drink a little more water at work, which is where I'm heading in a little while. I'm gonna go see my boy Johnny up in Yonkers right now, because we're gonna do some cool things. Bye. What up? It's your boy Donovan. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Today is Thursday, June 30th of 2017. Today we had Hugh. Uh, <clears throat> Today we had bench press. Now. I've been talking mad shit about my bicep hurting and blah 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 but I went to Rob, he gave me some therapy did bench today, top set called for 310 for a single or more so the AMRAP, the minimum was one but it was an AMRAP so after one you get as many as possible but today uh, D-Boy decided we're gonna go 315 so I said alright fine let's do it so we went 315 it felt good, that's the lightest 315 has ever felt in my hands um, and I managed to get it for three reps which is phenomenal and you know that that points me in a really good direction D-Boy crushed it he crushed his set Daniela crushed her set so we're all in a really good position right now um, this and then tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be we're gonna deadlift tomorrow and tomorrow's gonna be the last um, the last workout of our peaking phase so we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go for uh, the same thing one rep and rep so the minimum is one rep and then you get as many reps as possible and that's pretty much gonna cap off our peak cycle and then D boy is gonna test his openers on Sunday and then me and D are going to PR on we're gonna do our mock meet so that's gonna be next sometime next week i think next thursday i believe now i want to clear this up because people keep seeing that i'm posting uh powerlifting meat prep i'm not the one that's doing uh sanctioned meat i'm uh danny's doing the usapl meat i'm doing a mock meet so i i don't think people know what a mock meet is because i keep saying that and everybody's like when are you competing so basically a mock meet is like you go into your regular gym and you just you do you still do nine lifts but it's just you testing out your maxes that's it it's there's no it's not an official meet or nothing like that so if, I, if it was misleading my bad but i just figured since i kept re innovating what i was saying that you know people would get it but I guess, you know, I forget sometimes that people don't know what a mock meet is, so I'm writing it and people are asking me, but uh, 
yeah sorry to disappoint you but i will be doing an official meet in november so november is when i'm doing an official meet so now that we're on the topic i think i should talk about my plan after the mock meet so after the mock meet since i am a heavy boy right now i'm, I'm hovering uh anywhere from 190 to 194 throughout the day every day i'm gonna start cutting after this i don't think i'm gonna be implementing cardio but i'm definitely gonna be cleaning up my diet a little bit and that's gonna help me uh cruise down until november to that to the 181 or the, this this way this way i think it's this way for you guys yeah cruise down nice and slow pace to 181 and that's gonna allow me to hopefully not lose if anything still keep gaining power as i gradually lose weight uh anything else i need to tell y'all for now um we oh so i competed at uh this meet last year at 165 i'm probably going to be doing 181 but if the cut goes really well and i still feel strong maybe i'll try to do 165 i don't know I, I don't even know what i would look like at that weight anymore it's been so long since i've been anywhere near that low um my last cut was for that meet i wound up being 163 uh shit the bed on most of my lifts so i don't know i gotta see what what the best option is for me to keep my strength and you know obviously i gotta come down on this fat i'm i'm pretty i'm a big boy now but uh we'll see thank you guys for watching hit the subscribe leave a comment uh comment anything we already know just say hi if you have to but please leave a comment if you're looking at this right now right now like pause the video and then leave a comment below and then finish watching the video but the video is pretty much over so that's it and uh share this share this video with your friends if you didn't see my the video that i did of my boy khalid supra check that out and share it if you're into cars that video was dope i'm gonna have more cars featured on the channel soon and then when i get my car my next car my next like you know not daily driver that's probably gonna be well that's on my channel and as well as lifting but um i want to give you guys more of me and not just the the lifting block it's like every video is about lifting but that's just because that's what's going on right now i don't know i know this is a really long talk it's been like five minutes or something like that but uh catching with y'all later